Trader McCain issues nasty statement to Trump after FISA memo was released. Senator John McCain, who has a track record of betraying America, which earned him the nickname Songbird McCain while a POW in Vietnam, always seems to be at odds with what is in the best interests of Americans and national security. On paper, he is a Republican but time, and again he has shown himself to be a wolf in sheep's clothing, always siding with Democrats in their quest to destroy President Trump. Now, Senator McCain is showing his true colors by criticizing President Trump's decision to release the FISA memo, and subsequently asserting that President Trump is doing Putin's job for him, a statement Senator McCain he made about President Trump questioning the integrity of the FBI and the Department of Justice. Speaking on the contents of the FISA memo drafted by Intelligence Committee Chairman Rep. Devin Nunes, President Trump tweeted, the top leadership and investigators of the FBI and the Justice Department have politicized the sacred investigative process in favor of Democrats and against Republicans, something which would have been unthinkable just a short time ago. Rank and file are great people. Heavy check mark. At real Donald Trump. The top leadership and investigators of the FBI and the Justice Department have politicized the sacred investigative process in favor of Democrats and against Republicans, something which would have been unthinkable just a short time ago. Rank and file are great people. In his rebuttal, Senator McCain said, the latest attacks on the FBI and the Department of Justice serve no American interests, no parties, no presidents, only Putin's. The ignorant and obtuse statement made by the senator from Arizona disregards the fact that President Trump is not attacking the entirety of the FBI and the Department of Justice, but rather the leaders of these government agencies who chose to put political gain above integrity. Not content with simply putting his foot in his mouth, Senator McCain added, saying, the American people deserve to know all the facts surrounding Russia's ongoing efforts to subvert our democracy, which is why special counsel Mueller's investigation must proceed unimpeded. However, the only thing impeding Mueller's investigation is the fact that it was started based on false information contained in a dossier funded by the Democratic National Committee and Hillary Clinton. The American people now know that people in the Obama administration and the FBI lied to a FISA judge to obtain an illegal search warrant. This fact seems to escape Senator McCain. The DNC and the Hillary Clinton campaign have violated FISA laws, the Fourth Amendment, and the rule of law as it pertains to democratic elections. The deep state and the political establishment looking to control America were so incensed by President Trump that they broke the law on more than one occasion to destroy a man who merely wants to put America first. To this, speaking about the rule of law Senator McCain had the nerve to say, our nation's elected officials, including the president, must stop looking at this investigation through the warped lens of politics and manufacturing partisan sideshows. If we continue to undermine our own rule of law, we are doing Putin's job for him. Senator McCain and his Democratic cohorts like Rep. Adam Schiff, D. California, along with the mainstream media continue to beat the drum that President Trump and his administration are attempting to undermine Robert Mueller's investigation. Yet. These sycophants seems to miss what is genuinely threatening this sham of an investigation, which includes the many anti-Trump text messages revealed, along with the FISA memo, and the fact that the democratically funded dossier on Trump, compiled by Fusion GPS, is a big pile of horse manure. The FISA memo drafted by Rep. Noon states in part that, the committee's, findings, 1 raise concerns with the legitimacy and legality of certain DOJ and FBI interactions with the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court FISC, and to represent a troubling breakdown of legal processes established to protect the American people from abuses related to the FISA process. What is troubling here?